recovering in Children's Hospital tonight after an ordeal that crossed through three tri-state communities. Nine News reporter Scott Wegener tells us how she was found and how the capture of her alleged attackers was no routine operation. From Sharonville to Woodlawn to Lincoln Heights, zeroing in on this apartment building was just the start of some police work worthy of a TV series. Police are investigating a case where a teenager says she was abducted, taken from place to place, and raped. Woodlawn police used the victim's cell phone GPS to track her here to Lincoln Heights. Detectives then took a gamble. They actually called the phone and got the 17-year-old victim on the line. She said her three abductors were all armed. I asked her where was she at. She said she was on Matthews Drive, an apartment building. He asked her, do you see a church? She said, yeah. It turns out there's only one apartment in one building on Matthews Drive with a view of a church. Lincoln Heights PD surrounded it. And in what Smith says may have been a stalling move. They wanted to gentleman escort her outside the door and shut the door. Then, one by one, in 10-minute intervals, the suspects emerged. Pierre Beal, Orlando Crawford, and Demetrius Price. Two of the subjects are known felons. But none of them were carrying weapons like the victim described. After securing a search warrant, the police moved in. They had to think like a crook. Where would you hide a gun? The answer, in the walls. But we couldn't get to them safely without the public accidentally going off. So we had the fire department come in to assist us. All of the weapons were fully loaded and at least one had a round chambered ready to fire. As for the suspects... They're locked up at the Hamilton County Justin right now in a million dollar bond. Scott Wegener, 9 News, Lincoln Heights. The charges against the suspects include rape, complicity to rape, and illegal possession of firearms. Authorities are still determining whether to add kidnapping to the list.